Welcome to Benjamin TV. Today I'm bringing you my pesto panini turkey and provolone sandwich. I'm telling you, this is the bomb diggity. Very popular on my wife and I's vlog channel. It's Judy's Life, so I'm bringing it to you today. Very easy, we'll just jump right into the ingredients. First off, you want a nice crunchy piece of baguette. Uh, then you got your meats, I'm using turkey. I got the cheese, provolone. Also, I've got pesto. My pesto recipe is here, but you can Google pesto and there's a ton out there. Uh, also, you will need some butter, and if you want an extra oomph of flavor, you can also use some sun-dried tomatoes. Okay, first thing you're gonna do is cut it to the actual size that you want your panini to be, okay? After you do that and before you cut it in half, what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut a flat edge on the top and a flat edge on the bottom. Then you can cut it in half. The reason you wanna do this is because what you're gonna do is you're gonna flip it over and the outside edge of the bread is actually gonna be the inside and the inside half of the bread is gonna be the outside hitting the pan. First thing you do is butter your bread up. More butter, more better is really fitting for this recipe because uh, you wanna make sure you have enough fat on your bread so that it doesn't burn when it hits your pan. Um, go ahead and put together your sandwich I put a little bit of pesto on the bread, put some cheese, put some meat, and then put more cheese. What you want to do is get that cheese to get everything to stick together. If you want, you can put some of that sun-dried tomato or more pesto on the other slice of bread. Then make sure you have your pan. At this point, I've had my pan warmed up for quite a bit, okay? Most people would use like a large spatula, like a pancake spatula. Tongs, I talk about this in my tools video a lot more versatile. I'm also using a pan top that's just barely smaller than my pan because I actually smashed the panini down into the grill. Okay, let's get right to cooking. Take your panini, go ahead and place it on your pan. I know it's rocket science, okay? At this point, just press it down with your lid and let it sit there for about one to two minutes and then let go and let that sit for another one or two minutes. What you wanna do periodically is go ahead and check the temperature or the color of the bread. At that point, you're gonna flip it over, okay? Once it's nice golden brown. Go ahead and flip over and repeat the same thing. You might wanna take one or two minutes off or just check it because it might already be a little warm and cook a little faster. Once your cheese is nice and melted, you're pretty much done. Go ahead and bring it onto the cutting board Cut it in half, let that cheese ooze out, and you're ready to go. Panini, baby. Mm, mm, mm. Perfectly grilled panini, and guess what? The cheese is still oozing, but so let's take a, a taste. But first off, I wanna just say thanks for watching. I uh, hope you like this. I hope that you guys try this out. Make sure you hit me up on Twitter with your pictures of your paninis, and this is Benjamin TV. Comment, subscribe, I'll talk to you later. Mm. Mmm. The cheese is still ooing.